is INC Now. Aliana Lemon was reported missing Friday, and today there is still no sign of her. Good evening. I'm Melissa Long. Ellen County Sheriff held a short press conference this morning to update us on the status of the search for nine year old Aliana. Max Resnick attended the news conference today. Max, what can you tell us right now? Most of the Allen County Sheriffs say that with no leads, no suspects, and no new tips to work off of, the search for young Aliana is stalled. Now, she was last seen Friday morning while spending the night at a family friend's home in the Northway Mobile Home Park off of North Clinton Street. But her disappearance was not reported for hours because of a miscommunication between her mother and the man Aliana was staying with. Now, Saturday, dozens of police officers, FBI agents, and firefighters using planes and boats and ATVs searched a five mile radius around the mobile home park for Aliana, but found no trace of her. There was not another search yesterday because there were no new leads in the case. Today, Jeremy Tinkle with the Sheriff's Department says police are treating this as a missing child case. We don't know at this point what, what, what could have transpired. You never know what people do. Um, you know, she could have walked right out the door, uh, walked away. I mean, we're not sure. Uh, that's where we're treating it right now as a missing child case. And Max, we had a lot of people on our uh, website and Facebook page asking why an Amber Alert was not issued for Aliana. Could you explain that to us? Yeah, Melissa, Amber Alerts require certain criteria, included and perhaps most important is that someone needs to witness the abduction of a child, and that did not occur in this instance. And they really don't have a description of a car or a suspect or anything else. They don't else have any of those things as of right now. Out. All right, thank you, Max. Aliana, Aliana Lemon has still not been found, but that will not keep the community and family members from coming together. A candlelight vigil will be held this evening in honor of Aliana and her family. Rachel Martin is at Redline Honda across from the Northway uh, trailer park where Aliana was last seen. And Rachel, when will the vigil begin? Well, Melissa, the vigil is scheduled to begin in a few minutes at sundown, actually, which I believe is 518 tonight. Uh, uh, people are asked to bring candles, plenty of candles to go around in honor of Aliana and her family. Now, I'm here with the organizer of the vigil. His name is Kurt Lemon. Now, Kurt, can you tell us why you decided to organize this and why this is so important? Well, I have um, four kids of my own. They're all girls, and they're all around the same age. And there's this, you know, something inside of me that says that I need, I need to get out there and help and do what I can do. And multiple people were talking about it on Facebook, maybe a get-together or a search party, and I figured I'd just, you know, step up to the plate and do what I could do. Now, I understand people were searching this morning for her. Yes, I was one of those searching um, through the fields, woods, through the mud, everywhere we could. Did you find anything, any, any evidence of anything? No, we didn't find anything. So what will be going on at this vigil tonight? You know, it's just to get together for people to, you know, sh share ideas, thoughts. Hopefully the family comes out and we could help support them. And hopefully we can maybe um, get a search group together. Okay, thank you. Now, Melissa, people are also, also asking for uh, flashlights as they will be looking later on tonight, asked to donate flashlights to the Redline Honda here. And what's the schedule tonight for the vigil, Rachel? Just up in the air. They said people are going to gather, they're going to talk, um, support. Whatever people feel like they need to say or do is what will happen. All right. We certainly wish them the best and hope they find that little girl. Thank you, Rachel.